Brian Brown, and it's my pleasure to be your host for this press launch. But really, the theme this year is uniting the world through beauty and tourism. And we will not be able to do any kind of unification at all if it were not for our sponsors, who I'd like to acknowledge at this time. Dolphin Cove, the Jamaica Tourist Board, City Sports, Interlink, Rio Resorts, L'Oreal, Kia Motors, Soft Sheen Carson, RGR, The Miro, Stico, Photo Live Studio, BOJ TV, Rainbow Stores, Peru Global, Pavilion Jewelers, and Sunset Beach Resort Spa and Water Park. Please give our sponsors a big round of applause. So this is the ninth stage in on Saturday, September 28th at 8 p.m. will be the time. This will be the location. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, though, we are in the second city, and it's the, the first republic? Okay. <laughs> We're in Montego Bay, and um, I'd like to invite our first citizen, His Worship the Mayor, Councillor Glennon Harris, to bring greetings and welcome, as well as deliver the Prime Minister's message. Please give a round of applause. Thank you very much, Mr. Master of Swamini, Mr. Brian Brown. I Commissioner, Mr. Lashu Ramshandani, Mr. Bloomfield, Acting ACP, Warren Clark, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Miss Maker Global 2013. <laughs> of the media, good evening. It is with pleasure this evening that I corrected our master of ceremony when he tried to say the second city. Because I know for sure that we are second to none. Montego Bay, being the most beautiful city in the world, cannot be second to any other. So I implore you not to repeat that, because I've been saying it, not only here in Montego Bay, but I've been saying it internationally. And as we are gathered here this evening, at this launch, it is an indicator that Montego Bay, the first city, is the place to be. Many persons have traveled far and wide, and whenever they see a little piece of Montego Bay. They never want to return to whence they came. So in welcoming you all here this evening, it is with pleasure that I join force with Mr. Ramshadani in saying that Miss Global International Beauty Pageant 2013 has chosen the right place on the globe to have this pageant at this time. And we are looking forward to making a great show of this pageant this year. We will pull all the stops to ensure that Montego Bay's finest side is on display. And with the turnout of you all here this evening, which is a testament of your commitment to showcasing Montego Bay, we will do it. Let me commend Mr. Ramshandani on his years of work, his perseverance, 
we know that his love for the lovely ladies are always there. But the commitment of exposing them, molding them, and ensure that they come out better than they enter the contest is certainly something for us to give credit to you for, Mr. Ramshandan. <laughs> Welcome to Montego Bay, those that are not from Montego Bay, and welcome to this function. I was asked to read the Prime Minister's message, and I'll do so at this time. A message from the Most Honorable Portia Simpson Miller, Order of the Nation, Member of Parliament, Prime Minister of Jamaica. I warmly greet you this evening and the beautiful contestants participating in this year's Miss Global International Beauty pageant and extend my best wishes for success. Pageants like Miss Global help to develop poised, articulate, and confident young ladies. And I salute the visionary and hardworking organizer, Mr. Lashu Ramchandani and his team. For your years, of hard work. Year after year, affording this opportunity to our young ladies so they can grow and learn with style and grace. The exposure gained from ladies, young ladies entering this pageant will certainly help to make you a better person. Jamaica is blessed with tremendous beauty, not least of which is the beauty of our people, both inside and outside. Our strong, accomplished beauties, our strong, accomplished women have over the years made a name for themselves and their country in local and international pageants. The participation of our young ladies in Miss Global is therefore part of a great tradition, and I commend all the participants for taking the bold step to rise to this challenge. While only one will win, Only one will wear the crown. We expect that Miss Jamaica Global 2013 will rise on the list. I urge you all to maintain the high standards that we have set for the country and for your respective countries while being excellent role models as you take a new and even exciting endeavor into the future. I wish for you all a wonderful and fulfilling experience and to everyone a truly enjoyable and memorable grand coronation show of Miss Global International 2013. The most honorable Prime Minister, Portia Simpson Miller. Thank you. I sat and I stand corrected. And I appreciate the second chance to make a first impression. <laughs> Thank you, His Worship the Mayor, Councillor Glendon Harris, bringing personal greetings and a message from the Prime Minister. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to, uh, to invite to the podium, right in time, to bring the Governor General's message on behalf of the Costas Rotolorum of St. James, the Honorable Ewan Corrodos, Pastor 
Charles Brevet. Mr. Chairman, patron of the event, media personalities, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, if I am as timely for kingdom preparation as I have been for this occasion, I will count myself fortunate. Message from His Excellency, the Most Honorable Sir Patrick Allen, GCMG CD, Governor General of Jamaica, for the Mr. Jamaica Global Pageant 2013. At a time when there are various distractions facing our youth, it is important to recognize opportunities that will contribute to their positive growth and development. The Mr. Jamaica Global is one of such opportunities. To this end, I commend the founder, Mr. Lecho Rapchandani, for the role he is playing in creating an environment that favors the personal development of some of our young girls. Over the years, contestants who have participated in the Miss Jamaica Global Pageant have been taught important life lessons and skills, including grooming, poise, interpersonal relationships, and self-confidence. These have been and will continue to be the benefits to them long after the contest is ended. Therefore, I urge you, contestants, to take full advantage of this experience as it will certainly hold you in good stead for your future endeavors. You will emerge as a positive role model to your peers. Only one of you will be crowned Miss Jamaica Global and will have the tremendous opportunity of representing Jamaica, land we love, at the next level, that is the Miss Global International Pageant to be held in Nigeria in September of this year. To you I say, be brave, be strong, believe in yourself and represent your country well with pride and distinction. You will have an important opportunity to give the world another glimpse of brand Jamaica. I wish you all every success both in the pageant and in your future endeavors. His Excellency, Governor General Sir Patrick Allen. A very timely message. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Brevet. Um, Brevity was the order of it as well. I now invite, ladies and gentlemen, um, to really not just give a message, but I mentioned on behalf of his personal friend, His Excellency Pratap Singh, the Indian High Commissioner to Jamaica, to bring the patron's message. Big round of applause, please. Master of Ceremony, Mr. Vidyan Brown. His Worship Mayor, Delinda Harris. Assistant Commissioner of Police, Mr. Clark. General Manager of uh, Sunset Resort, Mr. Bloomfield. Former Beauty Queens. Distinguished invitees, members of media, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, you must be aware that uh, I have been announced as patron of this event called uh, Global Miss Global Beauty Pageant 2013. Well, uh, I feel privileged and honored to be associated with this event. And I thank you from my heart, Mr. Lachu Ramchandani, who reposed 
his trust in me and considered me suitable to be patron of the event. Thank you, Mr. Lakshmi. As patron of this event, I welcome you all to this evening function. And having said this, of course, uh, already my preceding speakers, they have spoken a lot about Mr. Lachu, but I would be very brief, and you all are aware of his contribution made to Jamaican society by organizing beauty pageants, over the years. Unlike previous events, this event is also going to put Jamaica in general and Mobe in particular at the world map, as beauty queens from nearly 40 countries would be participating in this event. And you can imagine the impression, the name they would carry along after visiting this beautiful island countries here. Mr. Lachu, after organizing so many events in the past, has already exposed this country to the world outside. And Jamaica is known, of course, geographically, it may be, I mean, in territori ter territorially, it may be a very small country, but Jamaica is known for so many things. One of the things is its beauties, its beauty queens who have earned great name and fame the world over. Apart from being a superpower, I would say, in terms of sports, it's a superpower for producing large number of beauty queens also. <laughs> this event is going to create another opportunity for girls from Jamaica and the other countries who are going to participate here. And by doing so, Mr. Lachu Ramchandani is not only making contribution uh, towards the grooming and development of the aspiring girls who want to be, I mean, uh, known the world over in the, in the world of beauty and in the world of uh, entertainment and uh, otherwise, but he is making a contribution to the overall economy of the country. Once your country gets exposed to outside world, you automatically attract a lot of tourists. And this event will be making another contribution towards that. So this is what Mr. Lachu has been doing, and I wish him the very best in organizing such ventures even in future, and uh, continue to make his valuable contribution to the local society. Uh, also, I am equally thankful for all the sponsors who have uh, provided their essential support for this event. Particularly, I am thankful for the Sunset Hotel here for providing venue not only for this event, but, the, but many other events associated with this organization in days to come. Uh, having said this, I wish you all a very wonderful evening and also a great success to this event which is certainly going to make a mark, another mark and achieve another milestone here in Jamaica. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Into my life, to into my life. Yeah. 
favorite songs period I'm a definitely my favorite AJ Brown song one more time for Mr. AJ Books Brown I see you around here getting it on Janet I see you and ladies and gentlemen the the object of his affections I'd like to have her stand right now so you can see her properly she is the reigning Miss Jamaica global 2013 Rochelle McKinley And how could he fight that beauty? He had to, he had to give it. You may go now, AJ. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you, you can't take her with you. Wait till after the 28th, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure right now to welcome to the podium the other patron of this event, the host for this year is Miss Global International competition in the person of Mr. Everett Bloomfield, the general manager for Sunset Beach Resorts, Spa, and Water Park. Thank you, Brian. Good evening, everyone. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but it's, it's a little bit of a relay going from one Cornwallian to another. <laughs> Are there any others in this house? Yeah. Fly the flag. It's homecoming week. <laughs> but Mr. Master Ceremonies, Brian, brother, friend. Councillor Harris, the mayor of Montego Bay. His Excellency, High Commissioner Pratrap Singh. Le Compere. Lachu Ramshandani. What a, an icon he is in Montego Bay. ACP Warren Clark, thank you for being with us. The media, ladies and gentlemen, and let me also take time out to thank members of the Sunset family who are here with us this evening. We are in the final leg of preparations for an event that came to us fairly late as an organization, and we want to thank Lachu again for offering the partnership to Sunset Beach and allowing for involvement in this year's staging of Miss Global 
International. Most of us on the team I am fortunate to lead had never been involved in an event of this magnitude before, certainly not the staging of an international beauty pageant. But it was embraced by the team. They have taken it on board as theirs. And let me also take time out to extend particular thanks to the lady who has been on the ground taking care of a lot of the work while I am able to enjoy the, the, the plaudits. It's, it's Catherine Raj Paul. Lachu has been kind enough to have been preparing us quite handsomely for the staging of this event which will take place uh, during the week of September 23rd. The talent show is slated to be on the Friday evening and the grand coronation on Saturday the 28th. And we certainly anticipate a truly memorable event which we are inviting all of Jamaica to participate in. There are great opportunities both in respect of the overnight stay which one may come to enjoy and better yet make it a weekend or coming in for the evening to enjoy Sunset Beach, all it has to offer and more critically, a tremendous show that will be staged. We are out to have fun. We are enjoying this. We look forward to it happening. We thank you for joining with us in making not only Sunset Beach, Montego Bay, and Jamaica shine. Anything that we can do to see to the growth, development, enhancement of the tourism product is certainly what we are about, recognizing how important this industry is to Jamaica's sustenance and its future. Miss Global International 2013 will be truly an event to write, talk, sing, and dance about for many years to come. We welcome the opportunity. We thank the various sponsors who are joining with us in making it reality. And say to you, let us continue to make Jamaica proud. Let us continue to make Montego Bay, certainly, the number one city in this hemisphere. Thank you very much indeed. God bless. Thank you, Mr. Bloomfield. Well said. And no doubt, as host and sponsor, Sunset will rise to the occasion. Which will make it our largest contest in the nine years since we started the competition. I can tell you the contestants are all apprehensive, though, though filled with anticipation. They know, given the enormous talent and beauty that will be in this year's pageant, that is poised to be perhaps our keenest competition. No matter the outcome at the end of the night, September 28th, in terms of who will wear the crown, everyone is a winner. I want to thank all who has come out in support the pageant. Uppermost in my mind is the in incomparable and kind support given to us by Sunset Beach Resort and Spa and Family, family spa, um, and, and Water Park. In addition to being the host venue for the pageant, the, man the management of this gorgeous property has also undertaken to stage this media event this, this evening. <laughs> After many years of being involved in beauty pageants, Miss Jamaica World Cornwall, Miss Jamaica Universe Cornwall, Miss Caribbean Queen International World, Miss City of Montego Bay, among many other pageants that I have hosted, I have decided to take over in, 19, in 2004 and create my own pageant, Miss Commonwealth. The competition at the first international pageant, pageant to be staged in Jamaica. It was a great feeling to be recognized the first promoter to stage an international pageant in Jamaica. That pageant, as the name suggests, for girls who, from the British Commonwealth, its success provoked a protest of sort of from non-commonwealth nations, which this added international appeal beckoning. I did not waste any time in addressing this concern. The result was a change of focus and name. 
The Miss Global International was born, and this year on September 28th, at this very resort, we will have the ninth staging of the Miss Global International pageant. Our headline sponsor, the Commonwealth Group out of Canada, has already agreed to host next year's pageant in Canada. I just wanted to correct early on as the message came to us from the Governor General about four months ago when we had already signed off in Nigeria to do the show. But since last three months, we have made some changes and we have decided to take the show to Canada next year. So I just want to apologize that part because that was actually supposed to have stayed in Nigeria. But that message was right, but it has been changed since then. This decision is not without significant, uh, as not only did the competition started as Miss Commonwealth, but our very first winner is a Canadian. I think it is most fitting that a Canadian entity, entity doing business in Jamaica has already come on board for the special 10th anniversary staging of Miss Global pageant. The theme of the pageant, uniting the world through beauty and tourism. And I know we are doing just that when we, are, when we bring together contestants from all over the world for a week as they discover Jamaica, make new friends and take back with them the treasures of lasting memories. Each year at the end of the pageant, the script written is one of another success story. This year, I know, will be no different. We have been able to stage this event, challenging as it is, year after year, without a hiatus. This does mean it is smooth sailing. Quite the contrary, I have had to contend with many rocky roads, chief of which is garnering adequate sponsorship. It has not been easy, yet only too cognizant of the prevailing international economic crisis. We persevere because I believe in the purpose of what we have embarked upon. I'm touched by the expression of gratitude by the contestants and improvement which taken place in the lives as they move from nervous contestants to confident young women. They are wined and dined in setting befitting celebrated status. They go to places, see sightseeing, and enjoy the experience they probably never imagined. They have the privilege of visiting the meeting, visiting and meeting our leaders, the Governor General, the Prime Minister, members of the Cabinet, and other official dignitaries. For most of it, not all, it is a life-challenging experience. For this, we have as always planned a fabulous show, and I invite all Jamaica to mark the date, September 28th, and to join us at the Sunset Beach Resort and Spa, Spa and Water Park, I beg your pardon, Montego Bay as we crown another Miss Global and announce and continue to unite the world through beauty and tourism. The Queens will be here from September 23rd to the 29th, and I know they are in here for a special treat. Thanks to all, all of you for coming to share the occasion with us, and we look forward again to seeing you right here on September 28th. Let me now share with you the countries that have already been confirmed their participation. And I'm just going to give you a little glimpse over there. The countries that are confirmed so far, ladies and gentlemen, Australia, I'm going alphabetical. Australia, Bahamas, Barbados, Belgium, Brazil, Botswana, Canada, Cape Verde, China, Colombia, Dominican Republic, Ethiopia, Guadeloupe, Haiti, India, Jamaica, Lithuania, Namibia, Portugal, Puerto Rico, Republic of South Korea, Russia, Singapore, Sierra Leone, South Africa, Spain, Sri Lanka, Syria, Trinidad and Tobago, Uganda, United Kingdom, United States of America, U.S. Virgin Island, Venezuela, and Zambia. These are the 25 countries. 
these are the 35 countries that has been confirmed, ladies and gentlemen, and we have five on standby. I have promised Mr. Bloomfield that I'm going to deliver 40 contestants, and I'm going to bring 40 contestants. <laughs> the standby we have is Nigeria, Cuba, Philippines, Kenya, Poland. And we are talking, just this morning I spoke to Zekoslavia, so we may have a Zekoslavia too. But in any case, I'm going to make, it, make sure that we are 40 girls. Now, for whatever reason, if they have a problem with visas and they can't afford the airline tickets or they have flight misconnection, that's beyond my control, but I have 40 countries confirmed here. I have a message, ladies and gentlemen, from our corporate sponsor who's unable to make it today. This is a message from the Commonwealth Group. I am pleased to greet our friends and partners in Jamaica as you gather at the beautiful Sunset Beach Resort and Water Park for the Montego Bay launch of Miss Global International 2013 pageant. As headline sponsor of the 2013 Miss Global International pageant, representatives of the Commonwealth Group of Canada had every intention of being in Jamaica at this time to share the occasion of the Mobile launch of the pageant. With regret, however, due to other competing business and schedules challenges, this was not possible, and I use this medium to greet you and convey our support. The Commonwealth Group is not only fully on board in a major way in sponsoring this year's pageant, but we are proud to announce our continued association with the pageant next year. With 2014 marking the 10th anniversary of Miss Global International Pageant, the Commonwealth Group will host the show in Canada. Our commitment to Jamaica is solid and, and long-term. We are very excited at the prospect of this partnership, both at the broader in infrastructure, development, level, and our other important human resource linkages of our, which support for the BIS Global Pageant is one example. The Commonwealth uh, Group is proud to be associated with the pageant and like all stakeholders will play our part in ensuring its continued development and success. For now though, as we count down to the arrival of beauty from across the world, we look forward to working with all our partners to ensure Jamaica continues to shine as we pursue the goal of uniting the world through beauty and tourism. Have a wonderful launch party and we look forward to being there next week to share in the fun and excitement of the week of activities leading up to the grand coronation on 28th September. Yours truly, Shane Peru, Managing Director, International Division, Commonwealth Corporate Support Service, Canada Limited. We are particularly excited about this because the Global, Inter uh, Global International Pageant started out as Miss Commonwealth and the first queen was the contestant from Canada. The Commonwealth Group is looking forward to hosting and welcoming the Miss Global Pageant and contestants to Canada next year. And I can tell you that we have already begun to lay the ground, groundwork for a truly special and memorable life, uh, milestone anniversary staging. A few months ago, while attending to our primary business interest in Jamaica, namely that of pursuing important development project for the country, we are privileged to meet the beauty ambassador himself, Mr. Lachur Ram Chandani. It did not take any convincing after learning about the pageant for us to decide this event was deserving of our support. We gave our commitment to the pageant even before concluding an agreement governing the main purpose of our mission, which was to finalize a major investment opportunities for Jamaica. The memorandum of, of understanding for the opportunity has now been signed with the government and will see the Commonwealth Group mobilizing some 750 million Canadian dollars over the next four years in delivering housing solutions to Jamaica. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, I would just like to recognize, I, I know she has been already recognized, and I would also like to recognize my other half, Mrs. Ram Chandani, and my <laughs> kids. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Ramchandani. A lot of information there. And uh, you know, you can see that even though the intention has always been for the development and the staging of competitions like this, you see the synergies coming through, through investment. So you may start with one primary objective, but eventually 
the momentum will lead to other things. And this investment that he mentioned is not something to, to really, you know, look at lightly. So that deserves a big round of applause in the office. Right? And hopefully a lot of that will come to the first city. Mr. Mayor. So we're wrapping. And we have some wonderful cocktails courtesy of our host sponsor. Just like to run down quickly some of the things, some of the places the ladies will be going. Most of them will arrive by the 23rd. They'll be going to Cool Runnings in the Grill, Sunset at the Palms, Rick's Cafe. Come back here for a cocktail party, and that's just Tuesday. We're going to Dolphin Cove, Plantation Adventure Tours, Sunset Jamaica Grand, Duns River, Blue Beach, Hotel Rio, Margaretville. That's just in one other day. That gives an idea that these ladies are going to be tired. <laughs> Tired of moving around, but you know what? They'll be running adrenaline, and they'll be giving, they're getting a break on Thursday and Friday, because that's when they'll be doing most of their traveling on Tuesday and Wednesday, just so that they are ready and they are well informed about what Jamaica has to offer. Speaking of offerings, Mr. Bloomfield alluded to it earlier that you can stay here on the night of the event for seventy dollars US overnight, right, per person. Yes, yeah, got to double occupancy per person. Got to put that in there. Of course, if you just want to be here for the coronation as well, it's $40. Yes, yes. So I'm going to get a free room just for that. <laughs> Includes. <laughs> Does it include taxes? N yes, please add taxes thereafter. Thank our sponsors once more. Dolphin Cove, of course, headline sponsors of Commonwealth Group. The Jamaica Tourist Board, City Sports, Interlink, Rio Resorts, L'Oreal, PVS Entertainment, Kia Motors, Soft, she Soft Sheen Carson, RJR, The Mirror, Citico Photo Live Studio, um, Mr. Ramshandani. Like to acknowledge. I just wanted to acknowledge uh, Ms. Tamara Pinnock, who's going to be working with us this year for Chaperone. As you all know, Ms. Sean Phillips is not feeling too well. Could easily confuse her for the Queen as well. <laughs> easily. She was a Queen. She still is. Citico Photo Life Studio, BOJ TV, Rainbow Stores, Peru Global, Pavilion Jewelers, and of course, Sunset Beach. Resort Spa and Water Park. One more round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for our sponsors. I look forward to being your host on the 28th. I will be your MC on that day. I'll be back here at Sunset Beach, one of my favorite places. And it's my duty and pleasure right now to invite you to enjoy the cocktails. Thank you so much for being with us this evening, ladies and gentlemen.